In this week's project, we'll show you how to DIY your own portable projector for the Nintendo Switch. We designed and 3D printed a custom dock that holds an off-the-shelf Pico projector. This of course allows you to project gameplay from the Switch to just about any surface. And although the Switch is already portable, using a projector instead of a TV is a novel idea in those situations where it makes sense. This Pico projector is about 100 bucks on Amazon and has relatively decent specs. It's portable, easy to use, and has a built-in speaker. Compared to the official dock from Nintendo, our 3D printed version is much slimmer and exposes the electronics, showcasing our DIY goodness. For a full list of parts we used in this project, be sure to check out our tutorial linked in the description of this video. The 3D printed parts are fairly easy to make with most common home desktop 3D printers that are on the market. And if you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can always order our parts by visiting our Thingiverse page and have someone local 3D print the parts and ship them to you. Now to make this work, we did repurpose the electronics from the official dock. So we'll need to do a proper teardown, which is actually pretty fun and easy. To get inside the dock, we'll need a special tri-wing screwdriver, which was included in our 38-piece screwdriver set. We'll need to remove a handful of screws found behind the latching panel. Once removed, you can easily lift the half of the shell to reveal the main circuit board. The board itself is held in place with these little clips. But before we take it out, you'll want to disconnect the main ribbon cable by releasing the latch and carefully pulling it out. Then we can remove the board by freeing it from the clips. Be careful not to pull it all the way out because we need to disconnect the JST cable from the board. And with that, we've liberated the board from its dark injection molded prison. Next, we'll need to remove these additional screws to get to the USB-C connector. We'll need to switch from the tri-wing screwdriver to a Phillips head. This guy is sandwiched in between the two halves of the enclosure. Now we can pull the two halves apart and flip the assembly to reveal the underside. Here are four more screws which secure the USB-C connector. Once removed, we can see two springs and a mounting plate housing the USB-C connector. We'll need to remove this cover which reveals even more screws. These two remaining screws secure the USB-C assembly to the mounting plate. Once removed, we can then pull it out. Now we can work on mounting the components to the 3D printed dock. We'll start by inserting the USB-C connector to the bottom of the dock. We'll repurpose these screws and use them to secure the PCB to the bottom. Then we'll connect the ribbon cable back onto the main PCB, making sure it's in the right orientation. Next, we'll position the main PCB over the standoffs on the side of the dock and line up the mounting holes. Hold the PCB in place while inserting and fastening the machine screws. Using longer screws, insert them from the top and fasten until slightly protruding from the bottom. Then install the brackets perpendicular with the dock. While holding them together, fasten the screws until fully tightened. We'll need to repeat this process for the second bracket. And that's pretty much it for the assembly. Of course you'll want to double check to make sure everything is tight and then go ahead and test it out. The two brackets can then simply slide onto the Pico projector. For the HDMI connection, we're using these DIY parts that are super slim and low profile. These bare PCBs have little locking latches so it's easy to make your own configuration. With the accompanying ribbon cable, we can put together a regular HDMI to mini HDMI. And these are surprisingly hardy once locked together. The Pico projector features a mini HDMI connector so we can plug in our cable and hook it up to the other end on the main PCB. Any excess ribbon cable can be tucked underneath. The bottom of the projector features a tripod adapter so you can screw in a small tripod to easily prop it up. I recommend a pan tilt swivel head so you have more control. And that's pretty much it. Our little Pico projector isn't the brightest on the market but it is fairly inexpensive. We've had it laying around for a while and we thought we'd put it to use in this project. We like to think of this more of a prototype and a proof of concept. We hope this inspires the DIY community to take a stab at making their own mods for the Nintendo Switch. We had a lot of fun during the teardown and hope it serves as a future reference for anyone looking to do something similar. Don't forget to check the links in the description of this video for our written tutorial along with the tools and parts we used to make this project. And if you'd like to see more DIY projects with 3D printing, be sure to subscribe for weekly projects. Hey, you can even join our notification squad so you can know exactly when we drop a new video.